Howdy partner, I'm Andrew. Today we'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of zinc sulfide, and I've made a table to help us out. You're gonna love it, take a look. Bam, so the first step of the process is to write down the elements we see, so zinc and sulfur. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If there is no subscript, just put in a one. So there's one zinc, one sulfur. Then we're simply gonna take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. Periodic table. Zinc's mass is gonna be 65.38, sulfur is gonna be 32.07. Let's write them in. Okay, so this is 65, what the heck, 65.38, good. And then sulfur is going to be 32, 32.07. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element in the compound by simply multiplying this on a cross. So this is actually pretty simple, right, in this problem because they're both ones. But you can use the same process in a problem that doesn't have subscript of one, and you're not going to be lost. You follow this exact process. The total mass then of the entire thing is just simply going to be the summation of those individual total masses of the elements. So this is simply going to be 97.45. And the units there are AMU because we're dealing with molecular mass. Those are the units, atomic mass units. Now you know how to find the molecular mass of zinc sulfide. Who's happier than you? Right. See you soon.